Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. In today's video, I want to talk about repertoire, how you decide on repertoire and how you can find repertoire to play. I personally never had the problem that I didn't knew what I want to play or what pieces are out there for her because I'm quite a nerd in this thing. But I had a conversation with a friend recently and she had this problem and I thought I might share my tips and tricks how I decide on repertoire and how I find my repertoire. One thing that really helped me was when I started my studies, I did a list with my teacher and we listed all the pieces that are standard repertoire for harp and from that list we picked every um, semester a new piece so i had to learn the standard repertoire for harp but i could also make my own choices which were not the standard repertoire but i would recommend for everybody to write a list about the standard repertoire of your instrument I know for some instruments that's more complicated like piano or violin because you have such a great range of repertoire but for other instruments like harp or trumpet or clarinet it's easier. What do I mean with standard repertoire? It's normally the pieces that get played very often in the concert landscape and the pieces that are often asked in orchestra auditions for example as a solo choice or often in competitions. Um, I know for piano, for example, they always ask like a classical sonata. You can write down the classical sonatas that you like, for example, or they ask about the Chopin etude or like a generally about the etude. You can write down also these uh, or they always want something from the Baroque time. And um, so you can write that repertoire down. Then I would work on a list with pieces you want to play, pieces maybe you heard in a concert or pieces somebody else played and you heard and you really, really like them and you want to learn them. And then you need another list with pieces that you need for certain auditions or for certain competitions. So you should have now three lists, the list with the standard repertoire, the list with the audition competition repertoire and the list with the pieces you want to learn. So when you plan or decide on your repertoire now, I would see how much time you have and also what is very urgent. So if you have an audition coming up, which is very urgent, of course, you will learn the repertoire of the audition or the competition. But otherwise, I would prioritize the standard repertoire and then the list with pieces you want to learn. And then you can choose um, different pieces from all the lists. And I think that makes a really good mixture of your repertoire. What I also would have in mind of course when you pick your repertoire is that you always learn something from different time periods that's just because it's always asked in auditions and competitions that you have something from different time periods when it's after your studies or you don't care about that at all don't worry that's just a personal tip from me if you don't know anything about repertoire or you're searching for a very special repertoire I can recommend doing some things. First of all, you can look up if there are any ensembles or any artists that released CDs in the past. You can then also listen to the pieces, which is very handy. And you can have an impression like how to build your repertoire around a piece, for example, or what pieces fit in or fit with this piece together, which I find very, very nice. Then you can also browse in the library of course for repertoire if you have a music library or you can also see on IMSLP that's an online library for music scores they have a lot of scores um, online and you can see all the composers with their works and what you can also do is that you go to music score shops you can do that online or in person where you can also browse different scores another thing you can do is that you can see which 
pieces are asked at other competitions that are out there and you can listen to them and can see if that might fit in your repertoire. Sometimes it's really hard to decide a repertoire when you don't know the difficulty of the pieces, especially when you are not an experienced player. I know, for example, when I was 14, I couldn't really say if that's hard or not too hard for me. I would in that case ask my teacher, of course, but if you want to have a browse on your own, you can see online the ABRSM lists. If you know your ABRSM level, and then it's very easy. You can just see the pieces that are in your level. When you don't know your ABRSM level, then you can see if you may maybe play the piece already on that list and you can orientate yourself on that. And what's also very practical is that there is also the Literaturliste von Jugend Musizier. That's the German youth competition online for every instrument and they have, I think, five different difficulty levels and they also have a very great overview over the repertoire that is out there. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!